Uh, I do think that is the issue. I think the problem with this government was that outside of the corruption scandals that happened, there was obviously a big cost of living shock that, shock that Japan was going through. The Japanese yen was at all time lows. And that has also you know, factored into the weak polling of the party in power. I do think, you know, the long term power and the long term path of least resistance is for dollar yen to actually, you know, go lower and for the yen to strengthen. We have seen, you know, wages have been stronger. Inflation has been on the stronger side. Both Tokyo and national CPI have been on the stronger side. The BOJ just needs more confidence uh, on to, you know, sustain uh, and be on a sustained hiking path. And obviously, with what you saw in elections, I think there is even greater call on the government to do more fiscal expansion, given that, you know, a lot of citizens are still going through this massive cost of living shock. Yen is still, you know, back to uh, some weakness again. And I think that's going to culminate into the BOJ hiking, more fiscal expansion. That will really support the yen. And we act, I'm, I'm a yen long term bull. I do think that, you know, in the near term, we have to be cautious and dollar yen will move higher. But after that, I think the medium term path of least resistance is for yen to correct its undervaluation and for the yen to strengthen, you know, towards 140 mm. and lower over the okay. course of 2025.